Hello my soccer universe. Every season that last qualifies for Europe they now have to issue special European jerseys because the league jerseys are way too many sponsors on there and you know as, as of late even yellow sleeves and so uh, you have here all my European jerseys the first one that I, had that I bought just when I have played the Champions League qualifying playoff in 2018 and Club Rouge they sold this black one which still is my favorite one but they played in that white one back then which I have of course with the Champions League patch unbelievable Champions League anthem was played in Linz and so I added on because I really like these shirts in, gen in general maybe the pink one back then it was a novelty now it's really really something that uh, fans don't like we have here the one from the following 2021 Europa League campaign the black one it was only worn at Spurs I actually I would like to have the white one too in a way but you know I missed out on that one the pink one yeah maybe not so much and then for the 21-22 um, season, they played in the Conference League, the first ever Conference League, and won almost all the group games, uh, except one where they had issued this home jersey. And I said, ah, this is a really nice design. I also liked a black version of that. There was also a pink version, which was an also, again, not, not the nice, but I decided to get this one. And so, you know, all the European jerseys I want to get at least one version of. And for the past season so we're talking about the 23 24 season uh this was a special one because not only did we play in the europa league and qualify for our forget one we had good opponents and most importantly i had tickets so i was in, in in a stadium in fact i only saw this jersey worn because for the other one corona season i couldn't go and i never went to klagenfurt to watch them play in this one but this time i was in the stadium for, for the group game so i wanted to get at least one jersey for now I got a little bonus payment I said okay we can use it to get at least one shirt for for that one and it arrived I was thinking sure should I wait whether there are end of season sales you know there's a new supplier coming in so I was thinking maybe 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 but I also am afraid once the new jerseys are out that actually they might take them out of stock so I don't know what's happening I said okay this jersey here I really would like to have so let's order it as a season ticket holder I'm getting a 10% discount so yeah not ideal but good enough so I would say big box for one jersey and one other item um, is this a little bit overpacking I, I don't know what really uh, surprises me how fast this actually arrived so that is also really really pleasing you will see why in a second Okay, open it is. Here are the contents of this huge package. You see, there's not too much left. Let's take out the paper, which is already re returned from and so on. Now, uh, the shirt, despite getting printing and so on, with the 10% 10, 10 off, it didn't qualify for free shipping. So I added something else, which is, of course, the scarf for this Europa League campaign, where we have all the opponents from that group on there. So. Also a nice memento. I will probably hang this up here. So we have Union saint Julas and Toulouse here. And of course, Liverpool and Lusk. Not my favorite Lusk logo as you know. And I think the Lava Bird by itself, I mean, it's on the other shirt. I found this interesting, but it has also the Europa League stuff on there as well. So it's a nice scarf that yes, I will try to put somewhere here because I think it adds quite a few things. And there are a few teams on there that I didn't have, but here is the shirt it is of course the home shirt from that season because i was at all the home games and it's the much cleaner version of the one with the yellow sleeves that i already have so uh that was instantly attractive and again <laughs> washing instructions right here okay i got it out, out of the bag here it is you saw it in my europa league jersey review it's a very interesting design. I really love the clean design on, the, on on this one, you know, the sponsor on white. And I think it would be all right for the home shirt too, to just have it this way. If you ask me, this is such a universally known logo that I don't understand why we need to have it on the yellow sleeves. Yes, that's the corporate colors, blah, blah. So I guess I understand it a little bit. Um, I have it, of course, with the Europa League patches. So these are the new Europa League patches, which now go nicely with this one I just realized uh, was it really this hmm. interesting 
the placement that actually I have to check that 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 one that would annoy me if they put it wrong. So needless to say, it really bugged me the way the patches were put, and so I contacted Lusk, sent a few pictures over to them, and said, you know, guys, that's not right. What are you gonna do to uh, remedy the CC situation? Because as a collector, this has no value to me. And I know Lusk is really slow to respond, but hey, within two days, they not only said, please send it back and we write the wrong, but they also gave me free shipping label, so I don't I didn't have to spend anything. So I quickly prepared this one and sent it back. Uh, it took a whole week for the parcel to arrive back at the facilities of 11 Team Sports, where all of these things are handled. And then it took another few days. And you know, there were also a lot of weeks where with days off, blah, blah. So we are more than two weeks later, however, I have a replacement parcel in my hands and now I'm really curious did they get it right this time or not so let's see as always these last parcels are relatively difficult to open because there's so much uh, nice tape around it but to get it hmm I have it open now so some trepidation I really have to say uh, <laughs> there is a form to send it back one more time I hope I don't need to let's see the size is the correct one. I'll show it to you. So this is the shirt. Let's another thank you card. Please, 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 please. Ta-da! Ta-da! We have the Europa League logos correctly on. So now the only thing that remains is you've seen the shirt already <laughs> from a previous unpacking video. Did they get the name set right? Yes, they did. Uh, tag, so last jerseys come with tags. Which player did I get? I finally had to get Sasha Horvath, given that my daughter really likes him so much because he shares her favorite number. And I actually like him as a player. He's really cool. So, uh, and he also scored a penalty against Union Saint-Gilois. So I really felt this is the right player to get. For the second unpacking, on purpose, I decided to put on the Bundesliga jersey to compare it with the Europa League home jersey. And you see, it's more or less the same design, but it looks so much better because there are no yellow sleeves. Yes, this last logo is missing and yeah, the league logo is missing, but it's so much cleaner and I absolutely love it. This could be an outstanding jersey that last could have been wearing the entire season. Now we have to smack yellow sleeves on that. We also have to do this on the new Adidas jerseys. But I really like the design, which goes back to the uh, 60s. I think they played even the one season, the European Cup, in a similar design, however, in black and white. So colors reversed, which is where the retro jersey that I got at the end of last season comes in. Typically for the European name set, the name is on top, the number is below and the Austrian Bundesliga is the other way around and the name set is also a little bit wrinkled so I guess I will iron over uh, wants to kind of f smooth out all these imperfections. But Sasha Horvath was really one of the bright lights this season. Uh, great performances throughout. He's now stalwart at our defensive midfield. It's kind of funny because I always a double XL and he's a very diminutive player. I think he would at most wear an M. But, you know, so be it. My daughter is also very happy that I finally have a Horvath uh, jer jersey. Now I have one jersey with number 27, which is her other daughter's favorite number. And now one with my little daughter's favorite number, number 30. So, yeah, that Odyssey is at an end. I finally have this jersey that I've been eyeing to add to the collection for quite a while. So any case, let me know what you think about this jersey. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!